The magnificent thing about Naomi's writing is that she marries politics and poetry. And the politics is with a small p and the poetry is with a big p. And she investigates the human condition through these two lenses that, that just stuns me. Um, I, 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 I can never get through a page of her writing without, without thinking, where did that word come from? How was that sentence constructed? Where, what was it that touched her that allowed her to explore it with such profundity, but yet such political specificity as well as poetry? I, I, that's what brings me back, um, that I, I, I adore almost every syllable. I think every new play, and this still is a new play, is wrought with challenges. Uh, part of the challenge of this play is trying to make sure that directorially my hand is light enough to not get it to not get in the way of the storytelling, but firm enough to make sure the pieces that are non-linear um, are clear enough to um, to audience members. And I think ultimately that's 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 the approach for me going into to, to this production. And I think that the treat of being a director is that you are the first audience member. Um, and so I, I, the play resonates with me because it asks such big questions about America. It investigates what Condoleezza Rice called one of America's birthing defects, slavery and its inheritance. And really what, what America, and, and of course Europe, was built on. The Industrial Revolution was born out of of, of the investment wrought, and I mean that word in all its manifestations, um, from, from the slave trade and the profits from that. So I, 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 I think really that, that that's what I get, that's what I take from it, and I think it's a huge question that will vex many generations to come.